there is a setting here called concept seed settings and it has that, that diamond or that jewel gem sort of icon. In here, you can choose the total number of concepts that you want. So when, when you're relying on Lexamancer to automatically identify concepts, it uses a heuristic to decide how many concepts to um, discover from the data. That heuristic is based on the vocabulary size. So the more unique words are used to the data, and I'm not talking about how many words in the document, I'm talking about the vocab size. So it doesn't, you know, if, if the same word occurs 10 times, you don't count it 10 times for a vocab count, you only count it once. And th so the vocab size is a measure of uh, conceptual diversity. You know, if I write 10 pages, but only have a vocabulary of 10 words, um, you know, I'm not, it's not very diverse. It, it's, uh, whereas if I have a vocab of 10,000 words, it's, it's starting to talk about more, uh, you know, different things. So the number of automatic concepts that Lexmancer chooses is a function of the vocab size in the data. But you can override that if you want. You can, you can choose more or less. Um, and what you're doing here is you're, you're choosing from a ranking. Lexmancer ranks all the, uh, well, the more frequent words in the text. Um, it ranks them for importance. And, and not by frequency, I should say. It, it ranks them by um, how many good friends they have. So uh, how, many, how many other words are tight, tightly co-occurring with a word um, is um, that Lexamance has a metric which measures that, how many words strongly co-occur with a frequent word, and then that, that metric indicates how important that word is to the discourse. So if you choose the top 10, you'll get the, get the top 10 concepts. If you choose the top 50, you'll get that 10 plus another 40 from lower down the ranking. So you're, you're looking, you're, you know, you, you can go deeper down the ranking if you want. And you could, if you want a very detailed model with lots of low frequency concepts, you could get, you know, 100 concepts if you want to take control of that. Um, but what I would say, uh, how, I, how I look at that, um, I'm going to use a map here that's already finished, so I don't have to waste your time rerunning one. Um, I would look at the concept list, the rank concept list here on the right, and I would look at how far down the distribution I go. So this is my list of concepts ranked by frequency of code, and I've got down to, you know, these the, the lowest frequency concepts that I'm using here occur in four text segments which is 4% of maximum. Uh, in his, this case, maximum is, uh, I think, yeah, it's the, the number of text segments that uh, are by faculty. Uh, so it's the most frequent code that's operating is 100% in this list. Um, so anyway, um, getting down to that, that number of text locations is enough. I don't, a concept that only occurs in three or two or one piece of text is, is kind of down in the noise it's not systematic it's not um, systematic enough to be interesting for an overall analysis now that might be different if you have a theoretically driven analysis where you you care a lot about where a particular idea is mentioned wherever it's mentioned even if it's only once then um, then you know you can select your concepts yourself and they will they'll be measured wherever they appear but what I'm looking at here is the ranking of the automatic concept list. And for me, this is deep enough. I don't need to go any deeper than that. Um, I would try to get below 10% of maximum. So this, this literature review map, for example, I'll have a look at this list. Analysis is at 100%. And then I go down this distribution, um, see where I get to at the bottom. Uh, so I get just below 10%. I get down to 9% of maximum, which is just enough. Yeah, I could potentially increase the number of concepts here, go, go a little bit deeper.